Hello, this is how the picker color works. So we have a document that we want to print it in a yellow t-shirt. So we want to get rid of the yellow background. So we open the file and we check the file that the name is layer one and it's PNG. So if it's uh, layer one and PNG, we have to click this button. Uh, it will uh, flatten the image and um, now we can resize it. So this this image we can uh, resize it hori horizontal. Okay, so we do this. We go here, and now we have the document, and it's called origin. So we don't have to do anything else up here. All we need to do is from uh, this section from the picker color. So we go here, we duplicate the document and as you see we created another one with the called source. Here we can uh, manually pick the color. I will show you later uh, how this works but right now we can just click the yellows. And as you see it selected uh, the yellows. Now we grayscale the yellows and we have a gray area where the yellows uh, were. So from here we have to darken the, the gray areas. If you click once the levels you will see it will become darker. Uh, right now if we check the color you will see that it's not perfect 100% black. So if we have tone it now you will see that we will have a lot of small details. We don't want that, so we undo and we click levels once more to make it darker. So from here we half tone it and done. Now as you see we have the our document. Let's add the yellow background. And if we, we take the back uh, the the background off, you will see that we have a very nice document to print. But as you see here, when we manual uh, when we auto select the yellows here, uh, we will select also a part of the orange. And the and some of the greens. You see this chart? Okay, let's do horizontal. Okay, we duplicate. Okay, and now if we select the yellows, auto select and grayscale levels I, I will click now levels only once to show you okay compare it to the original you see that you, when you auto select the yellows, you cannot have a, a perfect result because uh, auto selection takes a range of yellows, included a little bit of the greens and a little bit of the oranges. So you cannot have a perfect result. Uh, you have to play around, maybe do it two or three times until you get it right. Uh, when it's uh, um, uh, colors which are not spot colors. Okay, let's close this one. Let's go here, delete this and this. We have the origin file, so let's go and do it manually. So duplicate, we have the, for, uh, the source document, we come to the select color range we pick up the yellows okay 
grayscale, level ones, level tries, dots, done. Now, if we add the yellow background and compare it to the original, we have a little bit of uh, small details messed up, like here. But as you see her hair here, it's not so uh, so been affected so much as before it's not like previous with a, a lot of holes in the orange areas as you see near now this is a very nice document to print it on a yellow t-shirt basically when I I do it I prefer to pick up uh, when there are spot when I want to knock out spot colors I uh, manually select the color but when I have a range in the background a range of colors uh, first I'm trying to do it with the uh, auto selection and if I don't like the result I do it again with um, manual selection and another final uh, common problem that you may find uh, when you are opening a document that has um, no sorry okay now we have uh, this document which is a png and it's uh, called layer one this one uh, if we if we try to do this in this um, document that has uh, this uh, transparency here uh, we won't have a good effect let I will try to do it to to see the result uh, okay I have 300 dpi and now I will go duplicate it I will uh, pick up the yellow manually okay grayscale okay doesn't matter okay here as you see when we have a uh, transparency uh, edges in the picture when we do it we will have this when we print this one into DTFs uh, we will have a huge problem because it, it will try to print here whites and everything so it will have a weird effect it's an it's not gonna look good so what I do in this situation when I have a uh, transparency uh, I'm going here I will add a solid background with my color okay you see now I don't have any more transparencies a little bit um, but behind it I have a spot color so doesn't really matter so from here I will flatten the image now okay I will resize it because I need it to resize it and rename it also okay and now I do exactly the same duplicate select color range I will pick up my color okay um, grayscale it level one tries dots 
here. So as you see now, I have these uh, weird edges, but I don't have transparencies. When I, when I uh, add here the yellow background, uh, it, you cannot see it anymore. It's okay, it's not perfect, 100% perfect, but it's okay. So.